Being ready to race means being ready to deliver exceptional performance at all times. This performance starts long before the customer swings a leg over their new KTM. As the lifeblood of our business, the customer's satisfaction is of top importance, as without them, we have no business. From the moment they arrive at your dealership, every part of the customer's experience needs to be of the highest level. From product quality to customer service, it must all deliver 100% on the Ready to Race brand promise. This video guideline highlights the most important procedures for the proper handover of a KTM motorcycle to the customer. Ensure everything required and requested at the time of sale is entered onto a repair order, is in stock, and ready for the preparation day. Then, the technician collects the VIN tag and the handover checklist, which guides them through the whole process. The VIN tag details are entered via DealerNet and the pre-delivery inspection is started. First, a basic physical inspection where, amongst other things, tire pressure, fluid levels, battery charge, and safety checks are completed. Use the XC1 diagnostic tool to carry out any necessary unlocking and updates. Next, ensure that any specified KTM power parts are installed as per the sales agreement. 75% of power parts sales are made with a new bike. Don't forget that there are both physical KTM power parts as well as power parts software options too. Ensure the bike has at least 10 to 15 liters of fuel in it. The technician should then complete the remaining items on this section of the handover checklist. Take the bike for a test ride of five to 10 minutes in length. After the machine has been checked and ridden, it needs to be thoroughly cleaned. Once spotless and shiny, it goes straight to the showroom floor. Don't forget the another KTM ready to race hand tag. So, in summary, prior to customer collection, remember to be sure of the proper execution of the pre-delivery inspection, have your technician inspect the bike in detail and confirm that it is ready to be ridden. Make sure that all KTM power parts are mounted properly. Is the tank full? At least 10 to 15 liters of fuel. This creates a sense of professionalism and premium service for the customer. Test ride for five to 10 minutes before registering the bike. Clean the motorcycle before placing it on the showroom floor. Forward the delivery certificate to the sales department and define a clear, ready-to-race-by date for all departments, sales, service, and parts. Next, the salesperson takes responsibility once more and should ensure that everything is in order. Have all specified KTM power parts been fitted? Is the bike fueled and battery still fully charged? Is it spotlessly clean? The delivery certificate should now be finalized, printed out, and ready to be signed by the owner. On the agreed day of collection, your customer will be excited and looking forward to collecting and riding their KTM. The actions you take will help create both the best ownership experience and help convert them into your future orange bleeders. Take them to a quiet and comfortable area of the store, away from background noises and any disturbances. Make sure your customer feels comfortable and at ease. Here, over a refreshment, you will finalize all remaining paperwork to complete the sale. The delivery certificate is now signed by the customer. It's very important to capture your customer's valid email address for future communications from KTM, such as a welcome letter, customer satisfaction surveys, and dealership direct mail campaigns. Explain the reasons for requesting this and ensure that the customer understands their rights as far as data capture and usage is concerned. Once the sales paperwork is completed, it's time to explain the KTM bike pack contents, which includes the owner's manual and warranty book with the delivery certificate inserted. 
Do not forget to explain the features and benefits of both the roadside assistance and extended warranty programs, if applicable in your country. This is also the time to offer a further copy of the Power Wear and Power Parts catalogs for future and ongoing accessory purchases. For relevant models, the customer should have any important features, such as spare and master key functions, clearly explained before finally handing over the KTM bike pack to them along with your business card. Ask if they have any further questions or require clarification on the points discussed. It is important to establish a strong connection with the service department. Introduce the customer to the service manager, who can explain the KTM manufacturer's warranty terms and conditions, along with the service schedule of their machine. Then offer to set a date for the motorcycle's first service to ensure the customer comes back to your dealership. Make sure that all paperwork is explained, completed, and signed, including sales contract and delivery certificate. Explain the KTM bike pack, roadside assistance, extended warranty, and features and benefits. Introduce them to the service department and clarify warranty and related conditions. Answer any remaining questions. Finally, this is the big moment for your customer. Ensure the bike is waiting in a suitable handover area that is well lit, clean, uncluttered, and away from the general customer areas. Allow them time to admire their new KTM. Then, it is important to demonstrate the relevant operational details for each specific model. Ensure the new owner has understood before they head off on their own, as they will need to be able to use all of their new KTM's equipment and features correctly, safely, and confidently once they leave. Don't forget to offer to adjust the riding controls to suit the customer. You are now ready to hand over the keys and send your customer off on their new journey where a world of adventure, purity, extremes, and performance awaits them. Where the latest KTM is always ready to race. It is critically important that all of the new customer's details and motorcycle registration data, as well as the handover checklist are all given a final check before being verified, recorded, and stored in your customer files or database for future reference. Then finally, you can update the delivery certificate via DealerNet. The final step in the sales process involves a courtesy follow-up call seven to 10 days after they have taken delivery. Be sure to ask the customer how they have enjoyed riding their bike, if it is performing and functioning to their expectations, and whether they have any further questions concerning the bike that you can assist them with. By following these steps, you will be well on your way to building customer loyalty, setting the foundations for future customer retention, and investing in the future growth and strength of your business.